Hi everybody, I'm doing a real quick little preparation here on a small 10 by 10. I just wanted to show you how I put the preparations in. And I'm using a gray paint today for the sky instead of blue. So I just use a crisscross stroke for the back. And I'm going to come in with just a little bit of pure white right here and blend it in. We're blending that into the gray. My canvas has a little indentation in it right up here. So what I will do with that is um, I'll take some water to the back of the canvas and um, try and shrink it. It will shrink just like material because essentially that's what this is, is material. All right, so there's my preparation for my sky. Doesn't look like much, I know, <laughs> but it will. Okay, so I wanna come in with just a smidgen of, If it, of my blue, if I can find it. There we go, I just found it. Okay. I had green out on my palette. That's why you're seeing the green down in the bottom. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my blue and come back in up here at the top. And I'm going to just put a little tiny bit of blue in up here. And since we're working with the blue colors, I'm going to load my brush back up once again and put a little small mountain in right about there. I'm still using these crisscross strokes. I'm only going this far because um, I'm going to have a larger mountain right here. Okay, now I'm going to think about the shape of this. All right. Okay, this is not exactly the Mount Kanakdai, so I want to change it so people don't think it is. There we go. All right. Then I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to pull just some of it down in here. Now I'm going to take a vertical stroke, pull the water down. And if I'm off slightly, it's because my canvas is turned and I'm painting on an angle, so I've got to watch that. So there I'm going to lay in that water. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of foreground in. That will be done with a burnt sienna and some yellow. And then I'm going to dip into that blue white that I have. And I'm just going to load, oops, sorry. I'm going to load my brush up. <clears throat> with an earth tone in here. That's just so simple. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Okay. Now these are just um, very thin paints. Very thin, as a matter of fact. But that's what I want. I want to get my canvas just slightly saturated with paint. Coming down with another hillside right here. Kind of going back into my crisscross, but not too much. All right, so there is going to be my hill. Surprisingly enough, it's going to have vineyards on it. And once again, I'm coming back into my blue and I'm putting a little bit of burnt sienna in it and a touch of green. 
because all I want is some earth tones. So I'm going to build a mountain right here. And I'm gonna have it slide down here. And then I'm gonna put another one right here. And I'm gonna have some land back in here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna to have to get another brush to even out this area right here. And off we go. Let me get something to wipe my brush off with real quick here. I'm gonna stop for just one second. Besides that, that paint has to rest for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back already. Um, I have decided to open up a YouTube channel and I'll be working off of my YouTube channel. Did you see how I did that? I just pulled my greens down into the water. All right. Now again, I have to let this rest. So we're gonna let this rest for a few minutes and then I'll come back again. I'm working with a battery that is really giving me trouble in my phone. So I don't know how long I can do this. Okay, there we are. That's it. That's how I start them. I'm going to even this out just a little bit right in here with a smaller brush coming down in here. I'm crisscrossing again. I think I want to raise that up just a touch. Here we go, crisscross. And then I'm going to work my way into this other little side so that we do get a Mount Canocti over here from the other side of the lake. And I'll come back once this sets up a little bit more and I will fine tune it. Okay. One last thing before I stop that I have to do is I have to blend these two colors together right here. So we're just going to do it very simply. I want to smooth these two. I want the blue to meet the white and voila, there you go. That is a preparation and soon we will come back and start working it. I mean, really working it. So I'll post this up on my YouTube channel and then leave a notification. And please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can go live on there and I don't have to do all the uploading. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and watching this and I'll talk to you soon. Happy painting.